बैक ऑन एक बुंसोज की टी टॉक ट्रेन ऑफ थॉट विद सीरीज ऑफ एन एपिसोड विद मिस्टर गोपाल मिश्रा वॉज ए सीनियर मैनेजर एंटरप्राइज रिसोर्स प्लानिंग मॉडर्नाइजेशन विद एच पी सी एल इज अ ग्रेट इंसाइट्स वॉट वी गॉट फ्रॉम हिम इन दी फर्स्ट एपिसोड अबाउट हिज जर्नी फ्रॉम कॉलेज टू एच पी सी एल सर वेलकम बैक टू दिस टी टॉक शो अगेन लाइक Now in this episode, we'll be talking more in terms of the corporate learning life. Mm-hmm. Your first break was plunge, which you took into Tata Motors, coming out from B school. So, what was your perception of in Tata's, and uh, what was the experience you have gained? Like that was actually quite exciting. Uh, Tata's are known to be a big brand in India, and uh, also quite an ethical brand. So mm-hmm. uh, that way, also, I was quite inspired to join that, and. Uh, I was quite excited. I was just coming out of college. I was excited to do things uh, completely new, and Tata was getting into newer fields. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Indica had come, and Indigo had come, but the new models were coming every day. So I was thinking that it is going to be a very exciting journey, mm-hmm. and it was actually. Uh, we were uh, placed in different uh, sections of Tata Motors, and uh, we learned a number of things from mm-hmm. the uh, production to ancillary uh, management. Uh, to procurement just in time Toyota manufacturing systems lean manufacturing all of these things we learned at Tata mm-hmm. Motors and uh, these things actually have helped even till now in my life uh, in all the aspects so this foundation was laid down from Tata Motors as yes, well definitely you can say that okay now uh, how you took and plunge into HPCL after uh, like short tenure with Tata Motors like so HPCL uh, uh, is actually a good brand um i wanted to move to a uh, bigger city as well so it, i was placed in jamshedpur and i saw that uh, this uh, profile is going to give me a, a bigger challenge a bigger uh, what should i say perspective uh, in terms of okay uh, you know being part of an oil and gas like you know when we talk in terms of as a demand of petrol diesel and all which is concerned like you know that needs to be uh, served like and uh, when we talk in terms of turn around and shut down uh, like uh, so what is your experience what is this uh, tr in oil and oil and gas is all about turn around so oil and gas is a highly uh, capital intensive industry in this uh, the the just the interest of the capital investment mm-hmm. runs in crores and uh, in such an industry stopping production is going to have a huge cost Mm-hmm. uh it is like a pit stop in a formula 1 race mm-hmm. so when you're racing you don't want to stop in between because your competitors will get ahead of you correct but then you have to change your tires mm-hmm. and that's the crucial point correct if you don't change your tires mm-hmm. you're going to run out mm-hmm. so basically this is what a turnaround is uh, primarily about it is about taking the outages mm-hmm. but so calibrated mm-hmm. so precise that it is just like a pit stop you stop start quickly and go ahead again that's it if any small gap maybe i think there will be fluctuation in uh, uh, to cater to in demand like oh that that there is a havoc because if you delay the startup what happens is there is a dry up of mm. products in the market correct. any new sourcing takes time because mm-hmm. it has to come from outside india correct correct because most of the oil comes from the middle east mm-hmm. and all that com- tankers coming to your shore then you unloading and then making it reach the market that's a huge time taking job mm-hmm. so you cannot make the pumps run dry mm-hmm. so any delay is, is actually going to appear a huge cost i said what is the importance uh, of an uh, turn around like you know in oil and gas like so uh, as i said it's just like a pit pit stop it is uh, the the operations and reliability mm-hmm. uh, is dependent on the turnaround mm-hmm. how well it is done how efficiently it is done and the duration is crucial for meeting the market demand because mm-hmm. if the duration is bigger you incur huge costs and right. can make or break your profitability the profit margins in uh, refining is is pretty slim mm-hmm. around around 1 to 2% correct so if you delay in that you mm-hmm. cut into that margin and that's a huge cost Uh, and i think it's an overall the process is very sensitive like you know the timing needs to be really perfect in uh, uh, getting as for the turn around which is concerned when the shutdown takes place like uh, now in fact uh, from the planning perspective like you know, can you throw some light in terms of uh, once you're part of a turn around in terms of a safety timing budgeting logistics and evaluation so uh, planning plays the most important part so you plan for a year and execute just for a month mm-hmm. even less less than a month so 
you start with budgeting of course you start with scoping rather scoping and budgeting and then uh, this involves multiple sections of, of a company so your prime customer is operations and then there are multiple sections of technical and uh, maintenance mm-hmm. and all of these sections have their own demands mm-hmm. uh, and wish lists so uh, from that you decide what scope you should take because you have a time constraint you have mm-hmm. cost constraint and you have uh, to deliver it just in time right so in that you uh, define what the scope is with the collaboration Mm-hmm. and you define what is going to be the cost because that is also a big factor mm-hmm. because a turnaround typically uh, takes around 25 30 crores mm-hmm. which is a huge cost and uh, not uh, overlooking the cost of time mm-hmm. so the lost production for one month right. which is again around 150 crores mm-hmm. so that is uh, what requires the planning to be near perfect mm-hmm. so how is the coordination like overall uh, uh what are the services used during the uh, entire turnaround in different areas so uh there are multiple services there are some specialized services there are some oem services that is the licensors the original equipment manufacturers technology providers and uh, some service providers which are like uh, the maintenance contractors mm-hmm. and all of them uh, contribute towards the completion of this job mm-hmm. and all of these services are planned well in advance Mm-hmm. so you start with this scoping where you define what all the services will require mm-hmm. you work uh, towards developing the contracts so the bid bid documents for the tendering mm-hmm. and uh, then you place the contracts purchase orders and then uh, finally execute it's important to define very clearly mm-hmm. uh, the scope and uh, the clear definitions of what the services are going to be mm-hmm. so that when there, there is clarity Correct. Duty lies in the details. Correct, correct. Now, in fact, uh, just uh, for uh, the benefit of a target audience, you might uh, you have done uh, mechanical engineering, like uh, we we have studied all in the books the concepts which are there. Mm-hmm. Now, once you're part of an application, mm-hmm. you find it's more complex and uh, it's uh, more uh, in depth. Yes, of course. So nobody teaches you the final application in the uh, colleges. So a number of times we say that the colleges uh, are teaching a curriculum that is outdated, uh, but they have limitations. Mm-hmm. They have a limited time available in which they have to teach uh, the subject, and then there are variations. So what is required in a project management is very different from what is required in let's say turnaround planning, mm-hmm. and very different from what is required in let's say manufacturing on Tata Motors. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. a college cannot teach all of these things correct correct so a college can give you a basic uh, ingredients mm-hmm. like the basic ingredients for you to become uh, an operations manager or a project manager after that you have to learn on the job mm-hmm. and these things you will definitely learn on the job mm-hmm. uh, so there are different aspects of any particular uh, field let us say based project management or turn on management specifically so you learn about the different codes Mm. Uh, different industry practices benchmarks uh, how people have been doing it you mm. learn from people who are senior to you you mm. learn from peers you learn from different industries mm. and also you learn from industries which are not related to you so we yeah. can learn a lot of things from industries which are mm. very different from us yeah, yeah. so we we learned things from steel industry mm. which is which is not really uh, into oil and gas but it is a process industry if you look at it okay. it is also a continuous operations industry mm-hmm. and the sensitivity of plant shutdown in a steel industry is exactly the same as the sensitivity in an oil and gas industry and we can learn definitely a lot of things about uh, turnaround from the shutdowns of steel industry i see uh, mr gopal it is interesting and I'm, i'm sure many of the uh, students who aspire to make a career like yours and who are also part of it they might be an engineer would like to make a career into an operation like uh it's a valuable tips to what we have given uh, to the target audience in terms of the things i learned on the job application aspects uh, are uh, actually like uh, you grasp on the job itself as such uh good uh, great uh, but uh, many a times uh, when we see look in terms of an operations and uh, now students are confused like should i get into what kind of an operation like you know maybe into project management or into each and every function they have got an operation like So what do you have to say to the target audience about that? So operations is actually a, a, a large field. Uh, it is uh, a, an umbrella term for a number of different uh, fields that 
operations includes services it includes manufacturing or projects a number of things so uh, the best field to choose is the field that excites you okay the field that excites you uh, will actually make you work hard for it yeah. <laughs> learn it and then succeed in it and then feel like having a good time okay. which is very important for okay. any 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 uh, work field that you choose great so that was uh, mr gopal mishra like uh, he came out from uh, uh, the b school and he was part of and tata motors where he got a hand on experience on the shop floor the various aspects in terms of just in time and kaizen technique and all the respect uh, processes which were learned while being on the job and also once he was part of an hpcl in a turn around assignment i'm sure which in books if you just go through those kind of and concepts are not more clear but if you go on the shop floor and uh, experience yourself i'm sure uh, the concepts uh, it unfolds lot many insights as far as the corporate which are concerned so thanks a lot for giving valuable insight to our target audience uh, do catch up with mr uh, gopal mishra on our next episode of ttalk ek bun uh, search ki till then go to www.ttalk dot net subscribe and like the channel as much as you can thank you very much so thanks a lot for being part of this thank you very much